Hi, and welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host. And you are looking at my latest giveaway. And in case you couldn't tell, the theme is blue, and I have a really great reason for that. And I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. First, I wanted to welcome anybody new to the channel. I hope you stick around. I have a whole lot of different yarn content. I have mystery box unboxings. I have reviews for products and books, and I also have stitch tutorials. So I hope that you enjoy my channel. And I also wanted to ask you guys to please watch this video to the end so you know all of the terms and conditions and you know how to enter, okay? All right, so. Um, yeah, so, so the theme is blue, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the yarn first, and then we'll move on to all the other goodies. Okay. So first I wanted to tell you about the items that I have got from Hobie, or it might be Hobby. It's H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Okay. This is, um, in Europe. Okay, and the first one I want to show you is this. It's called um, Horizon. It's 100% premium anti-pilling acrylic. Okay, and look at that beautiful colorway. And it's showing up very true to color in this um, camera. Okay, guys? So it's got these blues and greens in it. Right, so um, the color is number four. I can't remember the actual name of the color. Um, but this is 600 yards of, uh, weight three, hundred percent acrylic. Okay. And it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so soft. I abs, I absolutely love this. And I thought that this would just go so well with this giveaway. So we've got that in there. And then the other thing from Hobie is I have a Cotton King's Sultan shadow here now it has multiple strands on it okay i don't know if you guys can see that i hope my camera is zooming in enough so you can see that yeah there we go got it um and i just wanted to give you a tip about working with this so when you work with this what i do is i put a bead on these and that keeps these strings together so that as you're crocheting not only do the strings stay together but they also don't get tangled up or anything like that okay so what i like to do is use a, a round bead okay um and if if you happen to win this giveaway and you don't have one just let me know and i will include one in the um in, 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 I'll just put it in the notions pouch. Okay, guys. So anyway, this is in the color teal and it is a little bit more like a green in the middle and it goes out, um, as it gets bluer and bluer and then it goes to black. These make the most beautiful shawls, but you can also make clothing with it or basically anything you want. Obviously it is so gorgeous. And I just absolutely, I'm, I'm really looking forward to giving that one away. So um, next I want to tell you about, um, how about this Lion Brand Summer Nights, um, yarn. So this is in the color Castaway, which I think is a wonderful name for this. Um, and this is the bonus bundle ball. So it has, um, 700 and I'm sorry, 875 yards in it. And it is... 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. The polyester is all of those glitter. It's got some glitter in it. Hopefully, yeah, there. We can see it in the in the camera real, real well. So that's that. That's what's made of of um, of polyester there. Now this is a super fine weight one, but if you don't like working with super fine um, yarn, you can always pair it with another yarn. Um, so for example, you could pair it with a solid like that one. Um, but anyway, I just absolutely love the shawls that you one can make with these. Um, they just make just stunning. In anything that you want to make with this is going to turn out just stunning because it's just so beautiful and the, the colors go together really well. So I'm really excited about this one too. Moving on, um, I wanted to show you this beautiful hand-painted yarn. Now I did open this on the channel. Um, some of you guys might recognize it, but it comes from a very small yarn shop called Mouton Rouge, okay? Which means the red sheep. And this is called, um, oh, what's it called? It's called Crazy Foot Yarn. Um, this is approximately a one, uh, 100 grams 
skein. It's 425 yards. Okay. And that's with both of these. Both of these are the same. Um, and this one is in the color cornflower. And this one is in the color gooseberry. And they're both, they're both a take on that blue colors. And I thought that they went really well together. Um, and I just, I, I'm really excited to give away some yarn from this smaller company. Um, so I'm really happy to have some of that to give to you guys. Now, um, I also have some Karen Simply Soft. I just really liked these colors, so I ordered them. <laughs> I mean, I ordered a few um, skeins of these. Um, now, this is in the colorway Oceana, okay? And um, this is a five ounce, 141 gram skein. It has approximately 235 yards in it. So it's, it's, it's enough to make a hat or something like that with it, okay? Alrighty. Okay, so next up I have this um, yarn that came in a mystery box from a company that I have not reviewed yet, but I will have that mystery box unboxing on the um, next Monday, okay? And this is called Match 100. Um, it, <laughs> this is in either Dutch or German, and it's Strumpf und Sportwool. So hopefully that tells you what it is. Um, this is 75% superwash um, sure wool, <laughs> whatever that is. So I'm, I'm assuming that that is wool and 25% uh, um, polymed. Okay. Um, and yeah, it says it's, it's, it's got, it, it's got wool in it. So do, do keep that in mind. And it is um, 100 grams. 420 meters. So that's the equivalent of about um, 480 yards, about that. Um, and I thought that this would just be really nice to include because it would make really great socks, you know, for those of you who like to make socks. And I just really love the colors. I thought it went well with the theme. And last, as far as the yarn goes, we have two of these Hirschner's worsted yarn and my last um, unboxing was from Hirschner's and I mentioned you know oh that's something I ordered <laughs> well this is what I ordered um, so this is the Hirschner's worsted yarn it, it, it's a huge ball both of these are huge they've got the pull tab in here it, I just love those the, the pull tabs there um, this is in the color sterling and this one is in the color um, china blue okay and they both have the same, they're, they're both four weight medium yarns. They're hundred percent acrylic, um, 489 yards each. Um, and, um, yeah, it, it recommends using an eye hook with, I'd actually use a J or a K myself, but you know, obviously just use what, whatever side you like. And you've got two of these. And I also included this little, um, this little pom-pom here, and I'll get into that when I talk about the hat not hate, um, which I have displayed here. So let me get into the notions. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you the different notions, but first I want to show you the stitch markers. So I do have, um, I have 10 blue stitch markers in this bag. Now I also have a whole bunch of these stitch markers that I got from Goucher and I do have an unboxing of them. They sent me some happy mail. I was so happy about it. It was so great. Um, so I have included these clips. Now they do come apart and I wasn't able to show that when I did the unboxing because I was using a different camera, but I can show you now. So if you can see that, you can see that it unclasps. Oops. <laughs> They also jump. <laughs> okay, it unclasps like that, and then you can just clasp it back. Just like that. Yep. So that is how those work. They're good for knitting or crochet, and they are all sorts of different colors. Obviously, I didn't want to give you all blue stitch markers because <laughs> they'd get lost in the blue yarn, right? Then I have four really fun stitch markers. They have sheep on them. I just thought they were so adorable. So I'm adding those as well. I thought that they were great and I'm putting them in this organza bag so that they won't be loose 
in this notions pouch. So I want to show you the notions pouch. Um, I did not have a blue notions pouch, so I hope this one's okay with you guys. Um, but it is obviously from Darn Good Yarns, and it has the start at love, and it's just got these, these um, I, I would call it paisley pattern on here, and none of them are blue, but it's still pretty. So I'm going to start putting some of the notions in here as I tell you about them. I also included a blue um, yarn. It, it, this is a, a darning needle. Um, you can use it as a yarn needle as well, and it's got that curve in it, which really helps hide your ends. Um, I also have a tape measure, okay, right here. And this is a um, row counter. I think that this is so awesome. What you do is you press this button um, and you can see it shows up as zero. And when you're finished with your first row, you just, just touch that button and it'll keep counting up. And then when you wanna clear the row, you touch the small button, you hold it down and then it'll be clear for you. All right, um, so I've got this row counter. Now it does have this thing so you can put it on your finger um, or you could be like me and just keep it next to you when you need to count rows, you know, and that's what I do with that. Um, okay, I also included some blue buttons here. Now this is... This is, I believe, from Hobie Yarn, um, but I thought that these blue buttons would go really good with my giveaway. I have this beautiful blue notebook here with the blue roses on it, but I also have a darn good yarn notebook as well. So you get two notebooks in this one, in this giveaway. I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm not certain that this is gonna fit. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to fit that in there. Um, and, um, I did not have any blue alpaca pins, but I did have these, and this one has a little blue, um, has some blue detail on it, so we're gonna, we're gonna call them blue. <laughs> so I'm gonna put those in there as well. So this little pom-pom I'm gonna put in here too. We are going to, oh, actually, I don't, it's, it was sticking up. I don't wanna snag it on anything. So we've got the Notions pouch. I also included blueberry hand cream. We gotta take care of our hands, you know? We're using them to craft, so we gotta take care of them. Um, I also have another set of the flower hooks. These have blues in them. Um, they're just absolutely beautiful. They're, um, I know that the largest size is J, um, and I think that the smallest size is, it's a C, I believe, 2.5 millimeters and the J is six millimeters, and you've got all the different ranges in between, okay? So um, I've, got, I've got a whole crochet hook set there. Um, I went ahead and threw this in because I just didn't know what to do with them. The, this, is, this came in a darn good yarn mystery box, and one in their car decals. It's a five pack, um, and it, you don't have to put them on your car. You can put them on your laptop or, or whatever, but so they've got different, um, They've got different balls of yarn in some of them and everything. I think it looks really cool. I just don't use these on my car at all. So I decided to put those in here as well. Um, and then we've got our adult coloring books. This one is Nature Fractals, which are absolutely stunning. And I have a Japanese designs coloring book, which yeah, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. And of course I have the Crayola <laughs> crayons with them. Um, and it looks like we're down to, I've got this, let me just put these on this side here. I've got this blue canvas tote here. This is just a reusable grocery bag, but I find that they look, they use, they work really good for project bags. Um, and also you can apply, um, you can apply different things to it if you want to iron them on. Um, and then of course we've got this hat not hate bag here. Now I wanna show you a little bit more about this bag than just what you're seeing right now, okay? So I'm gonna put, some of these might go off camera, but that doesn't mean that they're not in the giveaway. They're still in the giveaway. So one thing that I love about this is it's not only really durable canvas, okay? Um, but it also has some depth to it, or it's got some width to it as well as the depth, okay? So these are really nice bags. On the back, it has, different um, hats on here 
And the front, you see this hashtag, hat not hate. What does that mean? Every hat makes a difference. What is that? What is that? So <laughs> if you haven't heard about hat not hate, um, let me just kind of put this here in the middle. Okay, so I have been looking for a good mental health um, charity to support on this channel, okay? I have not found the kind that I personally really want to sign up with, but this is very close to my heart and it is something that I think is very, very important, especially considering the, the times that we're in, okay? So Hat Not Hate is a, um, it's an organization that brings awareness to school bullying, okay? Um, and what you're supposed to do is either you can make hats for the program and donate them. There are different donation sites all throughout the United States, okay? And um, those of you who are in Canada, I'm sure that you could find ways to donate um, as well, okay? Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can just make blue hats and take, you know, as you're taking pictures of yourself wearing them, as you're giving them to somebody or something like that, um, all you have to do is um, use the hashtag hat not hate on social media um, and that l brings awareness to this organization. Um, so what they do is that they go to different schools and they give hats to the kids there. They talk about anti-bullying and, and all of that. And it's just a really wholesome organization. And like I said, it, it's very important to teach children to be kind to one another, um, especially, you know, especially with the times we're in right now. So this is why I have all of this blue. The Hat Not Hate, it's specifically blue yarn, okay? Now, if you do make for their charity, they would not, they would not accept, or they wouldn't use, they, they might accept them, but they wouldn't use yarns like this because it has grain in it okay what they tend to accept is something that looks very definitively blue <laughs> like this okay um so they don't want any stripes in it you know so that's why i included this pom-pom and again you don't have to necessarily donate to them all you have to do is make yourself a hat and um you know when you take pictures or talk about um, something you're doing on social media, if you're wearing it, go ahead and add that hashtag, hat not hate. And of course, this tote is a wonderful reminder of the importance of just talking to um, kids, grandkids, you know, um, friends about the importance of being kind to one another. And um, I'm getting kind of choked up here because it's just, it, I've had a rough time lately, as I'm sure all of us have with compassion fatigue, um, with the stuff going on in the news lately. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's just an important time to bring awareness to that kind of stuff right now. Um, so I'm going to put all of this wonderful yarn back on the screen so you can look at the pretty yarn, um, including the one from some Germanic country. <laughs> while I read to you the terms and conditions. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. It really means a lot to me. Okay, guys. So, all right. So here is the terms and conditions. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any manner. This is my giveaway purchased with my money for subscribers to my channel, which is Nichecraft. This giveaway is open to residents of the United States and Canada. To enter the giveaway, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, like this video, and leave a comment to this video with the word hat in it, okay? Um, just work it into your comment however you want it, however you want to work, you know, however you want to work it, just use that word in your comment. I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 p.m. on June 15th, 2022. The winner must use the word hat in their comment to qualify. Because when I use those random comment pickers, I put in the word hat um, so that it'll only show me the comments that have that word in it. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. If you win this giveaway, you must email me with a mailing address where you can accept mail within 10 days of the announcement of the winner. And I just think it's important for you guys to know that I always post a video 
when I announce a winner. Again, it will be done on June 15th, 2022. The only thing that would stop me from doing that is inclement weather. You guys know I'm in central Arkansas, so if I don't post it then, then it'll go up the next day. Um, so um, just, just know that I, I will post it in a video. So basically I'm saying that because sometimes people will comment and try to get people's information from them. I don't want anybody who subscribed to my channel to get scammed. You know, I want them to get yarn. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you know, I am just really excited right now because I'm, my channel's just starting off still, you know, I've got, a, I've gotten a lot of subscribers really fast and I really appreciate that, but it's still just starting out. So everybody who enters in this giveaway really has a good chance of, of winning. Um, and so I do want to say good luck to everybody who enters. Um, and again, I will have multiple other giveaways throughout the month. I have two more um, picked out. And if you guys want me to have another one, you know, get me up to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll get there soon anyway, but, but you know, the, just know that I, I do this to give back to you guys. And also because, you know, I've mentioned this in a very, very early video that I've posted. I just really love the act of giving to people. I think that when we give to somebody else that we are also giving to ourselves. And um, there have been times where I've given to people who I haven't appreciated that. But I know that um, members of the yarn community, my subscribers here, you're interested in yarn or you wouldn't be here, <laughs> you know? So I know that I'm at least giving to a community that I really care about. I'm building awareness to, you know, with, with stuff that I, um, really want people to start talking about and all of that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm doing this. It's because, Otherwise, I might be, I'm not a really good judge of character, even though I have a degree in psychology and you would not believe how much training I have in behavior analysis and profiling and all of that kind of stuff. It's a different, it is a conversation for some, some other time. But what I'm basically saying is that I want to give to a community that wants this, okay? <laughs> so thank you for listening to this whole video. Again, I really, really appreciate it. And... Um, again, good luck, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>